This is the how-to guy, and I'm going to show you how you can erase viruses um, from your MacBook. Um, simply, it's just one program. It's very easy, and, um, you know, I'm going to show you, give you the tutorial. So here we go. All right, so uh, I use Safari, of course. Uh, most of you might use Chrome or whatever web browser. It really doesn't matter. So I'm going to click Safari, and my web browser is going to pop up. <clears throat> okay, so what's going to happen? I'm going to go to google.com. Okay, my spelling is kind of off a little bit today. Okay, so I'm going to google.com. Um, you know, it's going to book you to the site, and um, I'm going to type in malware bytes for Mac. Um, just put you know, malware bytes. You know, miles of memory and everything for Mac. All right. When you click, um, click enter. <clears throat> you know, you're gonna get it from here. This is the legit website. Um, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it in my description. Just go to my description and click the link. Uh, it's gonna take you um, to that particular site. So, I'm gonna click on it. And it's gonna prompt me to the to the website. And a lot of times, I just want to um, clarify with with you all that um, you know, when you get viruses, it's all about how you surf in the web. So you need to be extra extra careful of how you surf in the web because a lot of times, where the viruses come from, um, you know, like people be downloading like free music player, uh, free this, free that. Um, and like I say, uh, just watch how you um, going on these websites. And I'm gonna show you. Uh, how you can keep your website safe in um, in another video, but um, here here it is. This is the correct legit site. Um, you know, you click download. No thanks. Click download, and it's gonna download this program for you. <clears throat> and uh, if you using the Mac, you already know that it's gonna my download folder is, is right here, so it's gonna you know. Swoop it either right here, look at your downloads either right there, or you can use um, the drop down arrow, which is right here, and you can also see your downloads that way. Okay, so it looks like it's downloading. Um, you know, we're going to let it download, and then we're going to open the program. So we'll just give it a few seconds, and uh, you know. We can go ahead and minimize this because we're not going to need that right now. I'm going to click right here and it should show. And you will notice that you'll notice that it's downloading because the white symbol, uh, when it's done, you know, the white symbol goes away and you can click on it. So we click on the program. Uh, as you can see, that is, you know, it's opening that program that we just downloaded. And we're going to give it a few minutes as it, you know, does it thing. All right. So you're going to get this right here. You know, this is the legit program. Um, and, and it's just simple, guys. Uh, you just click on it and you hold it. Well, you just click on it. You hold it and you drag it over and you just let go. And it's going to drop down your application folder. Now, me, however... I got to the point where my application folder pops up whenever I um, download something or play something into it. Now I'm going to show you uh, how you can um, go by this process if it doesn't, you know, <clears throat> pop up. <clears throat> but as you can see, uh, it's in ABC order, so you know uh, my web browser is right here. <clears throat> but um, I'm going to show you all uh, how you know you can um, another quick way to go to applications. So, we're going to click here, we're going to exit out, and uh, what you're going to do, you're going to click go, which is up top, and then you're going to go to applications, and then you will see that the malware bytes is right there. So, and be careful, um, and be careful, uh, the only way you'll see go is uh, if you click a web browser, you'll notice you won't see go, you know, but if you click on, <clears throat> on the desktop portion, um, you will see the go button. Okay, so now, now that we 
Then got all that out the way. We're going to open the Bible Bytes program. So let's open it. We're going to double click. And you will notice Malware Bytes is beginning to open. Um, you know, it's going to go through, through all these phases. Uh, do I want to open it? Of course I do. I know this is a legit site. So I'm going to open this program. And you can also exit that out. Okay. So now, now that we got the scan. Okay. Uh, I done scanned mine already. I found that I didn't have any viruses. Uh, but I'm going to use scan anyway just to go to the tutorial with you. So um, click scan. <clears throat> I don't think it verified my program yet. Please, God, be please, you guys, be patient with me. All right, so click scan, and um, it's gonna scan all the threats, all the malware, anything that it finds, uh, what it um that is, you know, affecting your computer, um, it's gonna find it, and um, it's gonna ask you, hey, do do you want to clean it? And um, you just click clean, and uh, malware will clean it up for you. It might ask you to restart your computer as well. Uh, you just click restart, and it'll restart for you. Um, but like I say. One quick program, like I say, this is a free program. Anybody can use it, and um, I just want to, you know, put this out there for you all that um, have viruses on your MacBook, and um, how can you clean it by using this malware software program? Uh, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is the thing. This is what every computer technician um, out there, when it come to cleaning viruses, this is the program that they use. I'm just uh, giving you a heads up and trying to teach you and show you how to save money and how you also can do it yourself. Really easy. <clears throat> so we're going to let it do its thing. Um, like I say, it might be a while, uh, depending on how many files you have or depending on um, what MacBook you have. Um, so we'll just let it do its thing. And, um, you know, once it's done, we'll go with some more steps because there's, uh, there's more than just, you know, just going to this program and letting it clean uh, the envir the viruses and, and everything in that nature. Uh, there's some more process and uh, when it's um, through scanning, we'll go over another process.
guys, I know it takes a while, but um, you know, you can actually you know, just fast forward and, and see where you know you get close to the end. Okay, and we're back. Uh, like I said, I, I scanned Miami Sport. Um, you will see scan complete. If you don't have viruses on there, you will get this message, scan complete. It did not find any threats. However, if you did, you know, of course my word will be like, hey, um, you got this infected. This is infecting your system. Do you want to clean it? Do you want to wipe it off? And of course, you'll say yes, and my word will wipe it off for you. Or you can just click clean, and, you know, my word will erase that virus for you. And another thing, so we'll close this out. Close that out. Close out of everything. Okay. Now, you're not done yet. Because why? Because we had to um, go to our browsers. You know, we have to erase our browsers. So let's go with Safari. And you will click Safari, which is up here. And you will click that. Uh, make sure you clear all your history. Uh, just clear all your histories out. Okay. Click Safari again. And then you're going to go to preferences. Okay. Now, what you want to look at here is extensions. Um, if you haven't added any kind of extensions or uh, if you think, you know, if you just click on the extension and you'd be like, wow, I never downloaded it or, you know, I'm not used to seeing this extension. You know, that's, that's, that's a virus. You know, um, so you'll have to you know just click on it and you know remove it and um of course you just click on it and then just click remove and it'll remove it for you um you know you do that and and kind of just make sure all your extensions are cleared um and make sure that they are um, some safe extensions to go to so uh, if you feel like that you haven't downloaded this program or this extension on here um you can find it right here by clicking extensions and clear it out and uh, you can get rid of uh, your ad, your ads, or or your pop up net um, type as well by clicking on extensions. Another thing is to click privacy. Um, you click privacy and click remove all website data. Um, like I say, it just like you know clearing your history, remove your website data too. Uh, they can you know have some virus all files in there as well. Uh, you might have to do it about three to five times. Um, if you <clears throat> the way you do it. Um, it'll show what number you, uh, a website that you have, and you just click, click, remove, and remove until you know you get until it clears up. Okay, and then you exit out, <clears throat> and then you exit out again. Um, like I say, um, and do that for all browsers. Um, you know, I'm gonna click Chrome because uh, I know a lot of a lot of you use Chrome, so I got to double click. Um, you know, Chrome, Chrome, same way. I'm going to show you how to do that one too as well. Um, you know, you just click Chrome right here and, um, you know, clear browse, clear browsing data. Do that one too the same way we did Safari, except it's in a different way. So, um, and as you can see, uh, you know, it, it props up, um, you know, past hour. No, we want to do at the beginning of time. And you know, just clear browsing data because, like I say, you you don't know where uh what you, what you download, what, what browser you went to, uh, that had that virus on there. So just go to the beginning of time, and um, <clears throat> it should it'll clear up, it clear all everything that's on from the beginning that you um downloaded Chrome. Uh, check your extensions as well. Um, just make sure all your extensions good. Of course, mine's on Google, so I know those extensions are good. Um, this Bowman game, I know that extension is good as well, so I don't have to worry about that. 
And also, what you want to do, you want to go to settings. Click settings. Uh, scroll all the way down and go to show advanced settings. Scroll all the way down again. And then uh, click where it says reset settings. You know, just, just go to reset right there. And, uh, you know, just to make sure. Okay. Exit that out. And my friend, that, that is it. That is how you uh, clean viruses on a MacBook. Uh, no matter what Macs you got, Mac Air, MacBook Pro, or any any kind of Apple um, desktop, um, iMacs, uh, anything. You know, this, this is the steps of how to do it. And I guarantee you, um, this will remove all the viruses, all the pop-ups, all the ads, and everything that you have. Um, like, subscribe, come in my video. If you need any kind of tutorials, uh, just come into my video. Uh, my next video uh, I'm going to show is um, how can you um, how can you make your web browser safe and uh, what's the safe.